What happens if we fall into a black hole? Welcome to my channel, What If Science? And yo, today's question is straight up insane. What the heck happens if we fall into a black hole? All right, so you're floating around in space just vibing, right? Then bam, you see it. A dark, terrifying void just hanging out in the distance, warping everything around it. Stars bend, light disappears, and your spaceship's alarms are going nuts. You just found a black hole and guess what? You're headed straight for it. Now the question is, what happens next? Do you get crushed? Do you time travel? Do you end up in some other universe? Buckle up fam, because things are about to get weird. So first off, what even is a black hole? It's not a hole like in the ground. It's a spot in space where gravity is so wild that nothing, not even light, can escape. We're talking about the corpse of a dead star that got so dense, it collapsed in on itself. Now it's just sitting there like a cosmic vacuum cleaner, sucking in everything that gets too close. That invisible boundary around it, that's called the event horizon. Once you cross it, game over. You ain't coming back. At least, not in this universe as we know it. Now let's say you fall in. At first, you're chilling. You're floating in your spacesuit, just drifting toward the black hole. Everything's quiet, but then you start feeling a little stretched. Like your head's getting pulled one way and your feet the other. That's not your imagination. That's real. It's called spaghettification. Yup, you're literally getting stretched into a noodle by gravity. And it's not a slow process either. The difference in gravitational pull between your head and toes is so intense, it rips you apart like a string cheese. Brutal, right? But wait, it gets crazier. Let's say, hypothetically, you somehow survive all that. Let's say you fall into a supermassive black hole, like the one in the center of our galaxy. Those beasts are millions of times more massive than our sun. And weirdly, the gravity near the event horizon is a little gentler you might not get spaghettified instantly. You just pass the point of no return slowly, silently. And to you, it'd feel like nothing happened. But to someone watching from far away, you'd look like you're moving in slow motion. Like you're just hovering there, frozen right outside the black hole. Your light would stretch into red, then fade away. To the outside world you never really fell in, you just, Disappear. Now here's where it gets next level weird. Once you're inside, time and space switch roles, like legit. In regular space, time flows forward and space is something you can move through. Inside a black hole, time pulls you toward the center, like gravity. You can't stop moving forward in time and the only place you can go is the singular. That's the heart of the black hole, where gravity becomes infinite, physics breaks down, and science just kind of throws up its hands and goes, well, we don't really know what's there. Some theories say you get crushed to a single point. Others say you might get ejected into another universe or maybe you become part of the black hole itself. But yo, what about the whole time travel thing? Here's the trippy part. Black holes do mess with time. If you flew near one and didn't fall in, time would move slower for you than for people far away. Spend an hour near the edge of a black hole and years could pass on Earth. So yeah, it's kind of like a one-way time machine. You could technically fast forward into the future, but falling in? Nah, once you're past the event horizon, you're not coming back. No phone signal, no escape, no replays, just infinite gravity and the unknown. And yo black holes aren't just theoretical sci-fi stuff. We've seen one. In 2019, we got the first ever image of a black hole using the Event Horizon Telescope. It's real. It's out there. And it's hungry. So, what happens if you fall into a black hole? You get stretched. You vanish. You dive into the deepest mystery of the universe. No one really knows what's at the end. Maybe it's destruction. Maybe it's rebirth. Maybe... It's something we can't even imagine. Thanks for watching, y'all. Stay curious. Drop your thoughts about the video and let me know what you want to explore next on. What if?